Dr. Ed Wilanieski, board certified orthopedic surgeon, founder of CellularHealing.net here at the Orthologic Biologic Institute seminar, the 10th one here in Chicago at McCormick Place. And I am here with another expert in cellular healing, Dr. Joe Ruan, DO, brother DO. Yes, sir. Yes, we always, yes, we do. We, always, we usually hug all the time. There's a special hug for that. He's the medical director of Ohio Health Non-Surgical Orthopedic Physicians in Columbus, Ohio. So if you're from Columbus, this is the guy to see about getting your knee fixed. So Joe. Yes, sir. We talked a little bit. We've known each other for a while. Yes, sir. Yeah, and we, we talked about what are the what is the most important issue in cellular delivery today? Well, I, I'm going to frame that as m most important is, is actually most difficult. And there might be um, two answers to that. And first, uh, right now, it's uh, patient perceptions. I think we spend a lot of time counseling patients on misperceptions they have about cellular medicine because of either what they've heard in the media or unfortunately, and I know you're familiar with this, what is being sold through uh, less credible uh, outlets for, for, because this is an unregulated industry, there are a lot of players that are, t that are kind of taking advantage of it. And um, I would say if I do 10 consults, nine of them have been led terribly astray on what cellular medicine can do what the potential really is and, and what to expect out of a treatment. And uh, it takes up a lot of time and energy and, and resources. So that's one. The other is, you know, we're getting to the point where uh, not only consumers, payers, companies, people want information. Mm -hmm. They want data. And we as an organization, as a, as a cellular society, have not been able to come to the, date, to, to the table with data to say, this works. And we, we need, um, folks will ask me, what are my chances, what are my opportunities? And if you go to a neurosurgeon, there's been enough data in their bank, they can say, well, in your case, with your situation, um, you have a 90-some percent chance of experiencing this outcome. Uh, we have a much more difficult time talking that language. And um, it, it is hard to give patients the information that they want to hear to make a, 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 a good decision. So we need to move forward with, with registries and data collection because if we're gonna ever get this recognized by payers, mm -hmm. we have to have this information. We just have to have it. This is a great conference and great scientific information is gonna be presented and there's gonna be a lot of enthusiasm, but at the end of the day, I, I think one of the biggest barriers we face is um, validity. Validity, yeah, and I, I agree with you. The, I, the data is out there. The data is actually out there because we have enough patients that we've treated over the period of time that we have. And we also have standardized forms that these patients have filled out. It's just that we haven't gathered all that data together, I think, and, and synthesized that data. But definitely this conference, you were just there, and most of this is about collecting quality data and sharing that data because we all have that experience that this is helping patients. And it's just that we have to break down those barriers of sharing that data, collecting that data in the right manner, and then synthesizing that data so that it's understandable to the public. Because I think, like you pointed out, and you're very insightful about this, is that there tends to be an overestimation and an underdelivery. Yes. Uh, more insightfully said, um, the data is out there. We hear it. We talk about it. We share it. But it's in silos. It's in, it's in pockets right now. And, and synthesis is exactly the right word for it. And I'll be honest, I would also like to see more comparative data. You know, we have data that it helps the patient, but um, better than or equal to or so on and so forth, just to get a little bit more powerful would be helpful. So if you are in the Columbus area and you need something for your knee, for your aching joints, for your tendons, this is the doctor to see, Dr. Joe at the Ohio Health Non-Surgical Orthopedic Physicians in Columbus, Ohio, because these are your cells for your healing. Thank you, Joe. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks.